Hello and welcome to our presentation video. Today I will talk about our database project that we choose that is Movie Rental Service Database. A movie rental shop is a place where people rent movies for a certain amount of time. The shop that we will use for our dat database will be consist of many different kinds of movies and genre that only members of the shop can rent it. The aim of this case studies or this project is to refer the action that is movie renting for each member of the rental shop so that the data can be manipulated and controlled to meet any necessary condition throughout the entire data cycle. Now I'm gonna describe what the interaction happened in our database. To rent a movie in a shop people need to register as a member and make an account. The account will be included with member information like member first name, last name, street, city, state, zip code and balance. The user can use the balance in their account to rent any movie that they want. All the movies will have their own specific details like movie number, movie title, movie year, movie cost, movie genre, and price of the rent fee and daily let fee if the the renter late return the movies there will be several copies of the same movies in the shop so it will be differentiated by its own video number when a member rent a movies the data of the rent like rental number video number detail fee detail due date detail return date and detail let fee will be recorded so that the rental service will be organized because there will be a lot of rent happen every day. So for the problem statement, the first problem that we found that um, it's hard to find and collect the gear information. As we continue making a movie rental service, we found out that it is getting harder for us to organize our customer information. The current information about our customer and the movies that has been booked by them is really hard to find and collect. This is because our database did not store the information in proper way. For example A, this is the output that we get from using our new database system. As you can see, it is really easy to us to find the detail about our customer. For example B, we can see all the movie title and their description easily like movie gender, price code and movie cost. For the second problem is about data redundancy. We also found that when we try to store the same customer information in our database, there are a lot of data redundancy. For example, one of our customer name Ali, when we want to store his name in our database, we found out that there will be a lot of Ali name copies in our database. This will make a data redundancy and wasting a lot of storage space. Moreover, when we try to delete Ali name, in a specific date, all data of Ali in the database also will be deleted. For example A, as you can see, we have countered the problem about data redundancy. When we want to know about the movie gender, the output only print all the movie gender only once copy. For example B, it shown member with the same name and member number to differentiate them. For example C, it show all copies of the same movies in the shop. For example, Aladdin have one copies, Thunder Force has one copies, Pirate of the Caribbean have three copies, Onward have one copies and lastly, Brightburn have two copies. Now I'm going to describe the entity relationship diagram for this database. There will be a total of 6 
table in this ERD. The first table is membership. It contains primary key, member number and entities, member first name, member last name, member street, member cities, member state, member zip and member balance. This table is for the member of the shop. And the next table is rental. This table is for members when members rent the movies. It contains primary keys, rent number and entities, rent date and foreign key member number from the table membership. The next table is price. It contains primary key price code and entities price description, price rent fee and price daily let fee. Then the next table is movies. This table contains primary key, movie number and entities, movie title, movie year, movie cost and movie genre and lastly foreign key price code from the table price. The last the second last table is video. It contains primary key, video number, video in date and foreign key movie num from the table movie. This table is used to differentiate the same copies of movies in the shop. Then from the table rental and video there will be a composite entities between them that serve as a bridge. It is called detail rental. It contains primary key and foreign key rent num from rental and primary key foreign key video num from video and its entities will be detail fee, detail due date, detail written date and detail daily date fee. Next, I will talk to you about business rule. There are four business rules based on ERD given. The first one is a membership may have more rental or not at all, and each rental is made by one and only membership. Therefore, there is a one to many relationship between them. The next one is a rental may have one or more video, and a video may have many rental or not at all. So there is a many to many relationship between rental and the video. Therefore, a composite entity which is detail rental is used to serve as the bridge between rental and video. The third one is a movie may not contain any video or may contain many video, but a video must contain one and only one movie. So there is one to many relationship between them. The last one is a price may not for any movie or may for many movie. But a movie must have one and only one price. So, there is one to many relationship between them. Thank you for watching.